husbandos and waifus. Welcome to another reaction review of To Your Eternity. So far, man, this series has just been nothing but like my emotions being fucked up. In that regard, I'm having so much fun with this anime, dude. It's so good that honestly, I honestly just want to keep watching more and more. I'm more inclined to read it the more I watch it. But here, <laughs> we don't read here. But if you guys haven't already, please subscribe. We're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And uh, your guys' support would totally help me a lot. And one more announcement, if you guys did not know, uh, I'm having a 24-hour live stream this Thursday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to May 21st, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys want to pull up and hang out with me there, I'll be there. A lot of people complain that I stream too late. I'm hitting every goddamn hour. Anyways, guys, let's hop into this episode of To Your Eternity. One of my favorite things about this anime so far, obviously, outside of the heartbreak, I love how we're slowly seeing Fushi gain emotions from being emotionless to having tons of emotion. Ah, oh, that song is such a fucking banger. Utada Hikaru, please. That's true. Wolves, animals usually have better scent than humans. So depending on its mood, it would turn into that specific into that specific thing that it could transform to. It's so weird seeing March with those eyes. It's the old lady, Obasan! Obasan! The blood of March. I mean, I would I would have figured it was him. Like no regular person would be walking around with an arrow on its back. I guess you we could consider Fushi a monster, but Fushi's technically a marble. Oh, poor old Obasan. Oh, and she's dehydrated, dehydrated and hungry. Oh, she sees the wound. <laughs> she's not wrong. She going crazy. It's so weird seeing March in that form. <laughs> Fushi just angry. It's water and nutritious. <laughs> it's literally what March did to Fushi. Arigato. And Fushi's going to be interested in what she's doing because Fushi Fushi's trying to get some fucking stimulation. And this is some fucking smart dude to draw a map and all that. <laughs> See, Fushi's super interested. He wants to draw. And he's just gonna imitate. I think she should teach him how to hold the pencil first. Look how proud he looks. <laughs> Good boy, Fushi. Oh, let's go, dude. This is this is exactly what he needs. He needs a teacher. Oh, her name is Pioran. Oh, Basan. He's so hype. He's so hype right now. He's like, words! Learning! Dude, I wish I was that excited about learning shit. And he's learning how to do things the human way. Well, almost. <laughs> he's learning! He's learning! Let's go! Great companionship right here. <laughs> That's... Arigato. Oh, my! Oh, my! Light! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Fushi's such a good boy! Oh my god, the background music is so amazing. Another human interaction that is really good for Fushi. Emotionally and mentally, he's learning. Yup. He's learning! I'm so proud, dude! I, I'm so proud of Fushi! I'm so proud of him! To grow up is to learn. He's not wrong. Aw, dude, that, that one was the one that gave me the most fucking feels. Oh my god, this anime is so fucking good. Character development is so great, too. My lovers? She got a lover? Oh, what is this? What is this? I wonder if that's supposed to be if, uh, if the overhaul voice is supposed to be, like, the voice of God. Oh shit! Oh my god! What the? F oh, it's trying to take. Oh, it tried to take the form of uh the boy. So it's like that tree has the same powers as him, but it doesn't work as great. Oh, it's like an RPG. Finger. What is happening? Aesthetically pleasing right now. Oh, it took. It took that part from him? So it, it took that form of the boy? Fushi won't be able to transform into it anymore? 
Oh my god, what a horrible feeling! That is your enemy, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely! Let's go, Fushi! There's a court in the middle. Dude, overhaul giving advice! Oh no! Oh no, it's take. Don't tell him he's taking another piece of memory. Oh, oh, he had to transform into that. Ultimate enemy to Fushi right here. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Fushi, don't lose! Oh no, it's March. Alright, combat March. I wonder, I wonder if it takes the memories of March, if it, if Fushi doesn't have any more of its transformation abilities, if it just turns back into a marble. Oh my god, March is out here! But now it's, uh, left open. Nice! Nice! Oh shit! Nice! Nice soft landing! What the fuck? What a transformation! It's like a sponge. You gained a level! Unbelievable. Wow, dude. That was cool. That was so well put together. And he seems so satisfied about it, too. What is the grand objective? To preserve this world. Oh, to protect it. Oh, wow. So now Fushi has a main goal. Like, the main goal outside of Fushi trying to get stimulation is to protect the world. To preserve it. <laughs> Great response! Great response! I don't know, that was weird! What the heck is that? Oh. What the fuck? This anime is so good! Wow, unbelievable. <laughs> oh my god, this episode was so good. What, what I really like about this anime, I just, I honestly don't know what to expect. There's so many different emotions and thought processes that this anime targets that I just don't under fucking stand! This episode was mainly focused on knowledge. It was Fushi actually learning how to do things, learning how to talk, learning what things are, but also finally meeting his creator and, fi and we know his mission outside of getting stimulation which is to preserve the world fighting his enemy which is meant to take all the memories away from him fushi barely won this and this is his first big enemy like this so it makes me worried about what else fushi is going to encounter and the fact that he has to level up he has to keep training and he has to he has to adapt to the situations like this funny thing is when pioran asked what was that he says i don't know that was weird that was literally the greatest response and he said it with a fucking smile obviously he doesn't understand who his master was who the creator is i'm sure over time the more that he learns and he's getting smarter he, he, we will understand more the thing is like okay so the first episode i feel like he gained the power of scent feeling and taste the second episode i don't know i don't know what you would say you would get off the second episode because it was a focus on in the introduction of march i think it was like just human interaction just in general and then next thing you know he learns about combat then he learns about emotion and then he learns knowledge there's so many aspects that this anime takes on it's literally like watching a newborn grow up and learn so many things at a fast rate this anime is just wow storytelling is just top tier dude <laughs> top tier this is this is one of my favorites this season for sure anyways guys that is my reaction review of to your eternity if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys go and drop a like for me because that helped me a lot subscribe don't forget to click yeah, that notification yeah, bell yeah. My boy. this is the end check it for sub because i really need to get that dough you won't subscribe what the hell bruh stop acting like a goddamn hoe 50k subs call me yami so i can go beyond my own limits 65 percent are not subbed and please because i know y'all are fucking with it sheesh sheesh please sub and thanks <laughs> stoop